All right, this is DM Khan, and I'm going to do a little uh, show and tell of the Sound Sculptor CP4500 kit that I just built. So let's start with a little bit of drum and bass. Obviously, it's off. That's one of my favorite settings. Slowest attack, fastest release. Let's try the two to one. Maybe a little louder. Lots of that SSL thump. So I just turned on the 200 hertz sidechain uh, high pass filter, and you can see it's way less gain reduction. It's listening to the mids more. So let's turn up the, um, the attack. So you can hear some of that distortion. Dial down the mix. the auto release Try the rhythm section. It's crazy what it's doing to the reverb. So this is a high, this is a, a sidechain high lift. So I'm gonna add some treble. Watch it. Uh, so it's gonna just start over again here in a second. It, it listens to the high frequencies a little bit more.
Man, that 10 ratio is just ballsy. Obviously, when I turn on the drums, it's going to be way too smashed here. Auto attack's pretty sweet. I mean, normally I'm only going to be using this thing, you know, 4 dB or so. It's pretty crazy that. The hardware, I seem to be able to push it further, like more gain reduction than a plug-in without any noticeable artifacts. But I think one of my favorite settings is either two or four. What do you think? Think it sounds good? Well, that's going to end it for me. What do you think of the guy? I think it's pretty sweet. Take it easy. Peace.